One Central Coast woman is frustrated about a vehicle she bought almost a year ago. The problem seemed never ending and getting help has been a struggle. Well, after months of work, things are moving in the right direction after the woman had a traumatizing experience with her SUV that she says just kept falling apart. Sometimes it's really hard to turn the car off. Don Cowan bought her 2019 Chevy Equinox last March at a car dealership in Seaside. I'll shut it off, hit the button, and it won't turn off. Her radio started flickering and resetting, and part of her dashboard started to become disconnected. Look, nothing's happening. Nothing. She says she's taken the car in for service five or six times, but the problems were never fully resolved. The car dealership declined to comment on this story, but said on the phone that if it's a problem with the vehicle, they need to contact General Motors. I feel like nobody cares about what's happening with me. I feel like I'm just a number to them. Like, they don't give a crap about one person who's having these problems because they're such a big corporation. I contacted General Motors. They tell me in a statement, after checking with our field team, it appears the customer's original issue has been resolved, as well as a few additional requests the customer Customer had. It is a uh, relevant case and we do see a lot of it. Steve McFarland, the CEO of the Better Business Bureau, says it's something he's actually seen for years in many industries and he has some advice. Post about it. You know, post in the blogs, go to the BBB, file a complaint, get it known out to where out there to where this, this provider will kind of go, oh crap. I better not be doing this anymore because I'm not going to get any business, especially from females. We reached out to the Better Business Bureau, and after repeated calls and emails to GM, some progress has been made. GM finally approving Don for three options, a repurchase buyback, a trade-up for another vehicle, or a replacement of the same vehicle. We want to do the repurchase buyback, actually, we do. But there has to be a zero. We have to get it down to zero. Like, I don't want to owe anything. Don is now working with General Motors on that repurchase buyback. Meanwhile, if you have a question or a concern, you can send me a message on Facebook or on Twitter, or of course, visit our website, kion546.com.